الله وبركاته السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما شاء الله my brothers my sisters I commence praising the Almighty sending blessings and salutations upon Muhammad peace be upon him praying for all those across the globe who are struggling in one way or another and asking the Almighty to make this beautiful month of Ramadan a month of solution rather than that of difficulty, hardship and greater problems. I mean, I must say I was very impressed when I walked in here. I had no clue that this amphitheater was packed to capacity. I didn't even know that there were people seated here. And when I saw that these people are actually all here and there is pin drop silence, I have to give it to you, mashallah. May Allah Almighty bless you guys, give you barakah and goodness and blessings in every way. The patience, enduring, sitting, and I'm sure I heard that perhaps there might have been people who may not have made it right in here because the place is full. Today I'm going to speak about Ramadan, everything about Ramadan. Ramadan explained, bearing in mind that we may have people of all faiths with us here this evening. When I was young, I recall vividly we used to tell the other children in the schools we have a month of fasting and they would say, you guys are crazy, a month of fasting, you mean a month with no food, no drink and we used to say, yeah man, mashallah, not realizing that you know, it's not a month of no food and no drink, it's a month wherein which during the daylight hours you don't consume food and drink, so that's the first understanding when you tell people Ramadan is a month where we don't eat and drink you know it's not the whole month it's every day during the whole month during the entire month but at night the restrictions are lifted mashallah tabarakallah so that's the first point when we're explaining to people about Ramadan we must realize that the understanding is such the people don't know it's just from dawn to dusk and in the evening all restrictions are lifted. But it is still a month of greater goodness in every single way. You know, my brothers and sisters, if you look at the intermittent fasting that is being promoted by the medical fraternity correctly, and they say you fast at least two days a week, and it will help you, it will improve your health and so on, we as Muslims already do the two days a week from the time the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, made it clear that it is his practice to fast on a Monday and a Thursday. Is that not two days a week? And it used to happen from the very beginning and all of us are encouraged to do the same. And then we have three days a month of voluntary fasting. So the two days a week is voluntary for those who want to achieve a reward. The health part of it is just a bonus, but the 